Well, I'm ex I just feel so good about my guys. Yeah. In this NCAA tournament, my team has just played such good basketball. And in pressure situations, uh, I mean, they were a close team before the NCAAs, but uh, during these last four games, they have, they've been terrific. I'm so proud of you guys and happy for you. You crossed the bridge, man. And, uh, and we beat an outstanding team. Uh, uh, Arkansas plays outstanding defense and the start of the game, they knocked us back. We responded pretty well. And in the start of the second half, I thought they just took control of the game. And uh, we, were, we were not playing well, but they were making us not play well. And uh, got it down to five we, at, at that timeout. Our guys really got organized offensively. We scored on four or five straight. We hit on a, a set that gave us some good looks. Got the ball to Apollo and then uh, reversed it after a couple to AJ and and uh, changing the defense helped. And we, from then on, we just had control o over the game. And for this group to do that in that half, right? Because we were not playing well, and we were getting ready to get knocked out. And they, the last 12 minutes, they, they didn't get knocked out. They, they played beautiful basketball. So and congratulations to Arkansas on, on, a, on an outstanding game. And let's go to New Orleans, all right? Questions for our student athletes? We'll start up here. This is for Paolo, Mike DeCourcy, Sporting News. Out of that timeout, it seemed like they really wanted to work you against Tony. What was it about that matchup that worked so well? And can you explain how you were able to draw two fouls on him fading back? What was it about what you were doing that, that got him that off balance? Uh, I mean, I don't think I <clears> – <throat> I was just trying to take my shots and make, uh, make strong moves. Um, he was playing, you know, solid defense. And, you know, I drew two fouls up top on, on jump shots. Uh, but – yeah, I just wanted to be aggressive and, you know, I wanted to get to the line and convert. Um, you know, we needed a boost. I think they cut the lead to like five or six. So, you know, wanted to make aggressive moves to the basket and either score or get fouled. We'll go to Mark in the middle. Mark Spears, ESPN's uh, Anscape. Paulo, uh, I don't know if you could draw up a cooler freshman season, right? You got Coach K's last year. You're going to the Final Four. Just tell me about this ride you've been on. And, and how you feel about getting to New Orleans uh, as a freshman for this uh, opportunity? Yeah, it's just been a, a great year with, with the team. And, you know, as a team, we've had highs and lows, um, and we've just stuck together through it all. You know, we knew we were capable of this, um, and that's what we've worked for since June. So, you know, to finally be able to get to New Orleans and have a chance to play um, for a national championship um, is, is – uh, is a blessing, man, and you know I'm just proud of the way we came together. Question in the middle. Hey, question for Mark. Brendan Marks in the Athletic. It's sort of a two-parter. One, um, I wanted to ask you about the Euro step in the first half, uh, and also in the second half you were able to stay down. Note was really having trouble with your length. How essential was that for you guys, and sort of maintaining that lead down the stretch in the second half? Uh, yeah, I think going zone helped. Um, you know, I think it gave him a different look, you know, slowed him up a little bit. Um, obviously, he was trying to get downhill a lot, so I just tried my best to protect the rim. Um, I thought that was important for us, so I just tried to do that. And then uh, as far as the Euro step, I mean, just happened. I didn't really think too much. Just made a move and finished the jump. One thing with, with uh, the zone, we just put Mark right in front of the bucket so he didn't have to defend the ball screen and then come back there. So. It gave him even, I mean, he, look, he was the player. I mean, these, all these guys played well, but Mark really was the difference maker for us today. Question to the right. JB92 on the ticket, Fayville. Coach, congrats on a big win and a, a great career. Just keep it short. This team, obviously a lot of chemistry coming on late. Where does it rank for you? You've had so many incredible ones. Can you, yeah. can you put it up there amongst some of the best teams you've ever coached? 
I could and then get those teams mad at me. So I don't, just like I don't rape my daughters or my grandchildren, I'm not going to rape, uh, I've, I've, I'm not going to do that. But obviously, this is one of 13 that have gone to a Final Four. So they're, pretty, they're right up there. Over to the left. Hi, Lauren Walsh from WXII in Winston-Salem. This question's for Paulo. You talked a lot about having your family and friends here to watch you over the past few days. Is there a moment that stands out that was special to you? I saw you maybe looking at some people when you cut your part of the net. Is there anything that sticks out? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I did that specifically because, just a little quick story, my mom won a state championship as a coach, and she got to go up on the ladder and cut the net. <laughs> And I remember her swinging the net around and being like, I always wanted to do that. Then I went state in high school, and they lowered the hoop to <laughs> cut the net. They didn't bring the ladder. And so it kind of ruined the moment a little bit. <laughs> so when I got the ladder, I made sure I look up there and tell my mom, make sure you get, a, uh, get this on video and for a picture. So yeah. yeah that's good. <laughs> that's really good. Question here up front. Uh, Joe Mazur, WTVD, uh, Wendell. What, what does it mean to you? What was the celebration like? What was going through your head? And just what does it mean to you to be still playing? I mean, for me, it means everything. Um, I mean, I've preached it all week, but for me, it's been a three-year wait. I mean, you come to Duke looking uh, to get to moments like this. And uh, unfortunately for me, those first two years, uh, that moment was taken away. Uh, so really, to be able to do it with these guys right here, I mean, I wouldn't want it any other way. Uh, so this moment right here is uh, definitely, definitely pretty special to me. Question to the left. Hey guys, Claire Hanna with TSN. It seems like throughout this tournament, you guys have just been on this journey of growth. I wonder if there's been a specific moment where you felt like your confidence and your dreams can really just become a reality soon here. I mean, you know, we, we never doubted, you know, as a team, a uh, young team too, you know, just, we, we knew what we were capable of, and we just wanted to, you know, show the world. And, you know, we got hungry guys, and we just, like I said, we just want to show the world, and we knew what we were capable of. Yeah. Up here in the middle. Steve Wiseman, Raleigh News Observer. Jeremy, um, Wendell talked about his three-year wait. It's been a two-year wait for you, and last year was a, was a tough year for everybody. Can you just give your emotions on, on what you guys accomplished tonight after what you've been through? Uh, <clears throat> Definitely high emotions. I mean, obviously last year didn't didn't go as as we planned it, but uh, uh, this year we came back hungry. Um, and I think just getting to this point is, is all the all the hard work has paid off since June, since obviously last year too, and it's just it's just paid off. So I'm I'm very happy for that. David on the left. No, nothing. All right, we'll go to Ron on the right. Ron Karchik from the San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, Mark or Wendell maybe. Um, Obviously, you saw Paulo's skill from the start, but I'm curious if there's any moment in this game, in this tournament, or, or all season, where you saw, so, sort of saw him come of age and, and show poise and leadership um, and maybe take that next step to where he is now. I mean, I've seen it all year. Um, <laughs> obviously, he's a great player, and you know, we've seen that since the beginning of the year. You know, we, all, we all know what he's capable of doing. Um, every time he steps on the floor, you know, he makes everybody better. And, you know, playing with a guy like that, it always makes it a little more fun. So, um, yeah, that's all. <laughs> Back to the left with our next question. Adam Spencer, SDS. Um, for you guys, other than Mark, um, what's it like having him back there defensively? And uh, how does it impact your own defense and aggressiveness? Uh, so my big Mark, right? No. <laughs> My fault. Um, just his presence back there is why we're, why we're one of the top defensive teams in the country. I mean, when when you go to the, when when guys go to the paint, you you know he's there to either contest a shot or or beat it off the glass. So uh, he's he's a he's a he's a hell of a defensive player. Um, love having him on the, on the court makes it so much easier for the guards uh, to really try to pressure the ball. So you really don't have to worry if a guy gets past you. You know, big fellas back there to clean it up. So I mean, just I give all the credit to Big Fo. Um, he's a huge part to this team. Um, and we wouldn't be here without him. His defensive rebounding is one of the one or two biggest things in this game. He had nine defensive rebounds. 
and uh, it's a possession time, and if you score a stop and a score, and we needed that. His, his defensive rebounding, along with the blocks, huge. Go to the back right with our next question. Josh Peter with USA Today. For Paulo, the other day you said that it's been the plan all along to send off coach as a champion. How confident are you that's going to happen, and do you feel any different after tonight? We've um, already been two champions, so they've uh, yeah. they're, they've fulfilled everything. Let's not talk about One me. One game at a time. We talk about them. They've, <laughs> they've won a regular season championship, and they've won the Western Regional yeah, Championship, and they did that. They did it for us, and I, it, enough about you know doing it for the old man here. And uh, they, we're not going to do it unless we all own it. And we all own this. We all own this moment together. That's what we're playing for. Any other questions for our student athletes? Go up here. I hope this question doesn't get me in any trouble. Any of the guys? Yeah, you're, can... you're close. You're I know. I'm, I, I'm, take, I'm really putting my neck out on this one, but. Yeah. Uh, you guys you already are on... asked just a, a mediocre one. Hopefully it up, it's up. Yeah. Uh, you guys are, you guys are uh, uh, on the same side of the, of the bracket as uh, the team eight miles up the road. Is there any chance that you guys would silently root for them tomorrow so that you can get another shot at you it? You know what? It's going to be an honor for us to go against whoever is the regional champion of that region. And there's no greater day in college basketball than when those four regional champions, four champions get under one in one arena and play. It's the greatest day for college basketball. And we're honored to be a part of it. We already know Villanova's there. Hopefully Moore is not hurt as bad as it looks like he's hurt. And then whoever wins tomorrow, it'll be an honor if we ever get a chance to play them. Questions for our student athletes? And that, it, you, you, that's it for you. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, no, you, you lose your allowance, and you, you can't go out tomorrow night. All right? I'm going to try not to get in trouble here. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm on a roll here. <laughs> so. Wendell, um, you guys have talked about this all season. Has it sunk in yet? I saw you guys dance in the locker room. Has it sunk in yet that you're going to have a banner in Cameron? Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure it sunk in. I mean, I mean, really the moment after we won the game, that's when I started singing in. I mean, but for us, uh, that's our second banner we've hung. And the, the thing is, we're not happy about it. Like, the, for us, the job's not finished. I mean, we want to hang one more banner. Um, like two more if we get two games, I don't know. Uh, but we for sure want to hang another banner in there. I um, mean, so we're going to take uh, this five-hour trip uh, back to Durham. We're going to be happy about it. Uh, but once we get into practice tomorrow, the day after, it's, it's time to move on. Thanks, guys. We've got time for a couple of questions for yeah. Coach. Yeah. Do you guys have a chance to see your families? Uh, yeah. Already. Make sure you do that, all right? All yeah, right. we've got plenty of time. Yes, sir. Thanks, all right. Coach. Thank you. All right. Start in the middle for Coach. You're... Just have someone else ask you a question. Ian O'Connor, New York Post. Uh, I know you've made a concerted effort to make it about the players, and rightfully so, but you did just pass John Wooden 13-12 to 12 in Final Four appearances. What does that mean to you? Well, yeah, it's an honor. You know, uh, Coach Wooden, if he kept coaching, he'd probably have 24, you know. And, uh, but, uh, you know, Ian, it, it, uh, this game – I saw something that Bill Self said uh, yesterday about the regional championship game. It, it really is the biggest game a college coach has to coach because it gets you into the promised land. And uh, for me to have that, new, like I guess it's 17 times now, that, that's, that's a big time thing for me. I, I, I'm so proud of that, that my teams have put us in that position and that we've won now 13 of them. And, uh, and then whatever happens afterwards happens. But uh, um, no, it's yeah, a heck of a thing. You know, I've been 
we've won a lot in the tournament and we've won a lot of games, but Final Fours are, are big, obviously, and then um, national championships. And you know, like Wendell said, that's what you put banners up for. You don't put a banner up by, for beating somebody. You beat up, put a banner up by beating somebody's, you know, numerous things, and that's what we've always tried to do. Go to the back with our final question. Yeah, I'm Chuck Culpepper from the Washington Post. Do you think it's true that even with great athletes like these, you can't really tell how they're going to respond until they're five, like five down to Michigan State with five minutes to go, and that when that happened, you learned something significant about them that you know you didn't know? Yeah, there's no no question about it. You can only train so much. It's like in the military, you can train for combat, but you don't know. And again, I don't mean to put it at that level, but. Uh, um, you don't know. And so along with whatever training you're doing X and O wise, you're hopefully doing character training and hopefully you've recruited character so that you can help train it. But you really find out about character in those situations. You know, you, um, it's not luck. It's, it, it's, it's them. That's why I'm trying to tell you it's on them. Because they're the one, no matter what you do as a coach, they have to show that level of character. And it, uh, in this tournament, it's really lifted them. They've been beautiful. They, they've been sensational. <laughs> and, and they were really good, and I loved them before, but now not, I, I respect them so much, uh, uh, how much they've they done. I mean, a long time ago, I was a player. I, I didn't do what they just did. You know, and our staff, even though they've done it, they did it more as seniors or juniors. And so my staff is, is so proud of them, you know, Chris and John and Nolan and Emil, because these guys are young. They didn't have somebody who's already gone through a lot kind of leading them. They kind of led one, one another. But your question is a, is a great one, and uh, it really smacks of what's happened over these last two weeks. The course, take notice. That was a good one. <laughs> you've asked, yeah, I'll say this, over the years, you've, you've been really good, but today, just so-so. All right, just so-so. But I still like you a lot. It's that time of year as college basketball takes center stage with the tournament finally upon us. If you're looking to wager this year, Bet Online is the number one spot for all your updated odds and info, along with great contests, including the bracket contest, where you can have a chance to take home the top prize. Head over to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BELIEVE to get started. That's B L E A V. Bet Online is your continued source for all your sports wagering needs, including live betting and your favorite Vegas casino games. Bet online, where the game starts.